SQPN presents PlayStation Portable, the Liturgy of the Hours of the Roman Catholic Church. Friday, September 13th, Memorial of St. John Chrysostom, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, Office of Readings. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Hymn number 177 in the Shorter Christian Prayer Book. This is the feast day of the Lord's true witness, whom through the ages Hall of held in honor. Now let us praise him and his deeds of glory with exaltation. So now in chorus, giving God the glory, we sing his praises and his mighty triumph, that in his glory we may all be sharers here and hereafter. Praise to the Father and the Son most holy. Praise to the Spirit with them co-eternal, who give examples in the lives of all saints that we may follow. I am worn out with crying, with longing for my God. Psalm 69 Save me, O God, for the waters have risen to my neck. I have sunk into the mud of the deep, and there is no foothold. I have entered the waters of the deep, and the waves overwhelm me. I am wearied with all my crying, my throat is parched. My eyes are wasted away from looking for my God. More numerous than the hairs on my head are those who hate me without cause. Those who attack me with lies are too much for my strength. How can I restore what I have never stolen? O God, you know my sinful folly, my sins you can see. Let those who hope in you not be put to shame through me, Lord of hosts. Let not those who seek you be dismayed through me, God of Israel. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. When I afflict my soul with fasting, they make it a taunt against me. When I put on sackcloth in mourning, then they make me a byword, the gossip of men at the gates, the subject of drunkard songs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am worn out with crying, with longing for my God. I needed food, and they gave me gall. I was parched with thirst, and they gave me vinegar. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favor. In your great love, answer me, O God, with your help that never fails. Rescue me from sinking in the mud. Save me from my foes. Save me from the waters of the deep, lest the waves overwhelm me. Do not let the deep engulf me, nor death close its mouth on me. Lord, answer, for your love is kind. In your compassion, turn toward me. Do not hide your face from your servant. Answer quickly, for I am in distress. Come close to my soul and redeem me. Ransom me, pressed by my foes. You know how they taunt and deride me. My oppressors are all before you. Taunts have broken my heart. I have reached the end of my strength. I looked in vain for compassion, for consolers, not one could I find. For food they gave me poison, in my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I needed food, and they gave me gall. I was parched with thirst, and they gave me vinegar. Seek the Lord, and you will live. As for me in my poverty and pain, let your help, O God, lift me up. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. A gift pleasing God more than oxen, more than beasts prepared for sacrifice. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy, and does not spurn his servants in their chains. Let the heavens and the earth give him praise, the sea and all its living creatures. For God will bring help to Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah, and men shall dwell there in possession. The sons of his servants shall inherit it. Those who love his name shall dwell there. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Seek the Lord, and you will live. The Lord will teach us his ways, and we will follow in his footsteps. From the Book of Lamentations I am a man who knows affliction from the rod of his anger, one whom he has led and forced to walk in darkness, not in the light. Against me alone he brings back his hand again and again all the day. He has worn away my flesh and my skin. He has broken my bones. He has beset me round about with poverty and weariness. He has left me to dwell in the dark like those long dead. He has hemmed me in with no escape and weighed me down with chains. Even when I cry out for help, he stops my prayer. He has blocked my ways with fitted stones and turned my paths aside. A lurking bear he has been to me, a lion in ambush. He deranged my ways, set me astray, left me desolate. He bent his bow and set me up as the target for his arrow. He pierces my sides with shafts from his quiver. I have become a laughingstock for all nations, their taunt all the day long. He has sated me with bitter food, made me drink my fill of wormwood. He has broken my teeth with gravel, pressed my face in the dust. My soul is deprived of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. I tell myself my future is lost, all that I hope for from the Lord. The thought of my homeless poverty is wormwood and gall. Remembering it over and over leaves my soul downcast within me. But I will call this to mind as my reason to have hope. The favors of the Lord are not exhausted. His mercies are not spent. They are renewed each morning, so great is His faithfulness. My portion is the Lord, says my soul. Therefore will I hope in Him. Good is the Lord to one who waits for Him, to the soul that seeks Him. It is good to hope in silence for the saving help of the Lord. It is good for a man to bear the yoke from his youth. Let him sit alone and in silence when it is laid upon him. Let him put his mouth to the dust. There may yet be hope. Let him offer his cheek to be struck. Let him be filled with disgrace. For the Lord's rejection does not last forever. Though he punishes, he takes pity in the abundance of his mercies. He has no joy in afflicting or grieving the sons of men. Responsory My enemies hated me for no reason. I said, I am lost. I called for help, O Lord, and you heard my prayer. You said, Do not be afraid. You took up my cause and redeemed my life. For the sake of the name of the Lord Jesus, I am ready not only for imprisonment but even death. You said, Do not be afraid. You took up my cause and redeemed my life. From a homily by St. John Chrysostom, Bishop. The waters have risen and severe storms are upon us, but we do not fear drowning, for we stand firmly upon a rock. Let the sea rage, it cannot break the rock. Let the waves rise, they cannot sink the boat of Jesus. What are we to fear? Death? Life to me means Christ and death is gain. Exile? The earth and its fullness belong to the Lord. The confiscation of our goods? We brought nothing into this world, and we shall surely take nothing from it. I have only contempt for the world's threats. I find its blessings laughable. I have no fear of poverty, no desire for wealth. I am not afraid of death, nor do I long to live except for your good. I concentrate, therefore, on the present situation, and I urge you, my friends, to have confidence. Do you not hear the Lord saying, Where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst? Will he be absent, then, when so many people united in love are gathered together? I have his promise. I am surely not going to rely on my own strength. I have what he has written. That is my staff, my security, my peaceful harbor. Let the world be in upheaval. I hold to his promise and read his message. That is my protecting wall and garrison. 
What message? Know that I am with you always until the end of the world. If Christ is with me, whom shall I fear? Though the waves and the sea and the anger of princes are roused against me, they are less to me than a spider's web. Indeed, unless you, my brothers, had detained me, I would have left this very day. For I always say, Lord, your will be done. Not what this fellow or that would have me do, but what you want me to do. That is my strong tower, my immovable rock, my staff that never gives way. If God wants something, let it be done. If he wants me to stay here, I am grateful. But wherever he wants me to be, I am no less grateful. Yet where I am, there you are too, and where you are, I am. For we are a single body, and the body cannot be separated from the head, nor the head from the body. Distance separates us, but love unites us, and death itself cannot divide us. For though my body die, my soul will live and be mindful of my people. You are my fellow citizens, my fathers, my brothers, my sons, my limbs, my body. You are my light, sweeter to me than the visible light. For what can the rays of the sun bestow on me that is comparable to your love? The sun's light is useful in my earthly life, but your love is fashioning a crown for me in the life to come. Responsory Because I preach the gospel, I suffer hardships, even to the point of being thrown into chains like a criminal. But the word of the God is not chained. I endure all of this for the sake of the chosen. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? I endure all of this for the sake of the chosen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, who willed that the Bishop St. John Chrysostom should be illustrious by his wonderful eloquence and his experience of suffering, grant us, we pray, that, instructed by his teachings, we may be strengthened through the example of his invincible patience. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord and give him thanks. Amen. St. John Chrysostom, pray for us. Pray Station Portable is a production of SQPN, the StarQuest Production Network.